So my children hey, and my uh, freedoms, quote unquote, are being um, um, put into jeopardy from somebody that just refuses to wear a mask. Uh, my father had polio. He was one of the last cases of polio in, in New York uh, City. Um, so the idea that, that we're now politicizing vaccinations and I fear and I think it, I know it's coming because you know they, they try to do it in Tennessee and Texas but my fear is that's the next step too is that he's basically going to get rid of all vaccinations um making every, every vaccination um you know um not mandatory uh for even for public schools so that's my um if you could save one child's life it's worth it it's just it's 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 it's, it's you know, the, the idea that we're, con con you know, confusing, um, you know, an annoyance uh, or an inconvenience um, with, with oppression. You know, we're I think that's a great, I think that's a great point to close on here, Dr. Wolfson, this, this fear among uh, sort of the group of people who are pro-vaccine that the anti-vaxxer crowd is going to get their way, that vaccines eventually are going to be optional rather than required. Um, I, I, that's not something I've really ever thought of as a concern. Like I've always just thought this is something that we do. What I want, what I want you to close on is why it's important that that not happen. And I, I guess the crux of that would be the concept of, um, of herd immunity. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Wilson. Wilson. I appreciate your time. And uh, you just added uh, so much depth to this conversation, provided our listeners with some really important information. Uh, I can't thank you enough for joining us today. And hopefully we can have you back again soon. And, and hopefully there'll be better news to share at that point. <laughs> My pleasure. Be safe and be well. All right, I will. Thank you so much. And we've got about three, four minutes left here in the show. I'll go ahead and uh, take another call. <laughs> I just loved everything. But, you know, one thing I didn't hear, and I do want to say this, is that uh, when people wear masks, it, it's, it's really to protect others. And, and I really do think that this whole issue of, of uh, freedom is bound up in the uh, selfishness. Because I love to drink, right? But I've never been, you know, a drunk driver. I'm not that type of a person. I know when I'm at home, I can have a couple, but that's my freedom. But yet I don't impose on others, right? And I never understood when freedoms become something like if you're a drunk driver, you can affect others. Well, then if you, you know, if you don't wear a mask and you have COVID, you can affect others. So for me, I really think that the young people are the main drivers in Florida, because I know some of them, you know, um, our, our daughter and her husband, and even though we love our grandkids, nobody's getting uh, vaccinated, none of the young people I know. And here's the, the last thing I have for you, Janelle, that's really, it's just, I'm sorry to say this, but young people from out of state that I know, they worship DeSantis. I don't know what is going on with this guy. He seems to be popular to the young in, in places like Colorado that I know people. And I, I don't know what this, uh, I think it has something to do with just the way that he politicized this whole, um, this whole COVID thing. What do you think? Uh, I think it has something to do with him being Trump 2.0. Um, I think that that sort of bombastic attitude is something that um, I think a lot of younger people have um, resonated with, whether some of us think it's odd or not. But yeah, that is something that I've noticed as well. Thank you so much for the um, call, Kevin. I, I appreciate it. Great points thank made. You. And thank you for the nice compliment. Let's take one more call. We're almost out of time here. David in Plant City, I see you have a vaccine policy question. Oh, unfortunately, Dr. Wolfson yeah, has governor. dropped off, but I yeah. might be able to help you. <laughs> yes, great. The governor, quote unquote, is phased up this um, you know they tell us that you you can have the virus and be, cure yourself from it and then still get it again so they say that the vaccine is effective against this but if you take the vaccine you might get the virus you know i think the question is if we all every single human on the planet takes the vaccine is the virus is going away. And I would say that's not gonna happen. All right, um, I, you know, and I will I will answer that to the best of my ability, David. I, I think but, that- But thank God for the youngest, for the youth. Sure, I, I think that 
I think that at this point, that's a big question mark. <laughs> I think that at this point, that's a big question mark.